Hello, you're welcome. How to solve for hex in this nice math problem involving square roots? Here, yeah, from what is given, which is k root of x equals to square root of 2x. Here, yeah, let's take the power of 3 on both sides. Raise both sides to power 3. Then raise this side as well to power 3. Then here, yeah, we have this power of 3 cancel the keyboard. Then we are left with x here, which is equal to here. We have square root of 2x, which is raised to power 3. Then here, we can apply the law of indices here. When we have root a, this same thing as a raised to power half. So here, we can write this again as x equals to 2x raised to power half, then raised to power 3 from there. And also when we apply the law of indices, when we have a raised to power m raised to power n, this same thing as a raised to power m n, that is this power multiplies. Then here, we can write this as x now equals to 3 multiply half, give us 3 over 2, so we have 2x raised to power 3 over 2. Then, next step, also from here, let's square both sides of this equation. This becomes x squared equals to 2x all raised to power 3 over 2, then also all squared. Then, applying this law again, this power multiply, then it implies that here, 2, here we cancel 2 here. Then here we have x squared now equals to 2x or raised to power 3. Then here, when we have a times b raised to power n, this same thing as a raised to power n times b raised to power n. That is what we have here on the right hand side becomes, so we have x squared here equals to 2 raised to power 3 times x raised to power 3. And here 2 raised to power 3, 2 multiply itself 3 times, that's it. So we have x squared now equals to 8 times x raised to power 3. Then from here, let's take everything to one side. And here x squared can come here. Then we have 8x raised to power 3 minus x squared, which is now equals to 0 from here. Then from here, we can factor x squared out. x squared is common, so we have x squared into bracket. Here we have 8x less, then minus 1 less here, which is equals to 0 from here. Then here we have two possible cases. We have either x squared equals to 0, or we have 8x minus 1 equals to 0 from here. Then here, when we take the square root on both sides, we have square times the square root. x now equals to square root of 0 is 0. So we have x equals to 0 from here. Then on this side as well, we have minus 1 coming with 1 plus, that's 8x now equals to 1. Then divide both sides by 8, such that 8 cancel out here. Then we have x now equals to 1 over 8. Then we can check from what we have, which is keep root of x equals to square root of 2x. Now, when we substitute the first value of x here, which is 0, now keep root of 0 here is equals to square root of 
2 times 0 here. So cube root of 0 here is 0. And also, this is square root of 0, which is also 0 here. So it's 0 equals to 0 here. So that means left hand side satisfies the right hand side. So x equals to 0 satisfy this problem. And also here, yeah, using 1 over 8 here, what we have here becomes cube root of 1 over 8 here is equal to square root of 2 times 1 over 8. And when we check from here, we can rewrite this as cube root of 8 can be written as 2 raised to power 3. So we write this as 1 over 2 or raised to power 3. That is here, when power of 3 affects 1 is e1, power of 3 affects 2, that's 2 8. Then equals to here, this multiplied, then 2 here 1, 2 here 4. So we have square root of 1 over 4. Is this equal to each other? Then from what we have here, power of 3 cancel keyboards. Then we are left with 1 over 2. And is it equal to here? Also, this is root 1 over root 4. And which implies that we have 1 over 2 equals to root 1 is 1 and root 4 is also 2. So both on both sides we have 1 over 2, 1 over 2. Hence we can conclude here that x equals to 1 over 8 also satisfies this given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Give it thumbs up and put your comment in the comment section. See you next time. Bye for now.